This is the O Review Podcast. O Review. Hello again. I'm going to do another special edition that's a little bit out of order because I got a piece that, again, I'm really excited about and I wanted to show it to you. Um, now, normally I've been trying to go through all my glasses chronologically from my first pair of the splice onward through the early pairs that I've gotten. But just like when I completed the M-Frame Slash collection, I just I got another piece that is just so awesome and so I'm so excited to get that I just had to show it off and kind of share a piece of history. So what I have here are one pair that I want to talk about and then a couple pairs I want to just compare it to. The pair I'm talking about is this guy here. So I'll give you a couple seconds. Let's see if you can guess what this is. And if you say M-Frame, yeah, but there's something a little bit different about this guy. Something you really don't see too often. Okay, the lens is tiny. And this will be the only time I ever put them on because I'm paranoid as anything. And hopefully it doesn't snap. All right, we're good. All right, does this look ridiculous? Sure it does, but that's okay. That's why I like them, because they are just out there. Um, most of the M frames you see, they at least come down and they touch your... Uh, your cheekbones there. And actually Oakley has a patent. One of the first patents that uh, Oakley got for the M-Frame was, you know, part just the function of the, the hammer stand and all that fun stuff. But this curve here is actually patented. This is meant to sit right on your cheekbone and rest. So not only do you get some three-point fit from the nose and the temples, but you actually get some added fit from just having the lens rest on your cheek. And you'll notice that a lot of these really basically have that. Um, Looking at this guy, kind of flat, you really don't get that. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. All right, so let's take this guy off. So the name of this is the M-Frame Strip Lens. This came out in 1991, and it was after the first big three, which were the V, the 67, and the hybrid lens. Hybrid being a hybrid of V and 67. And if you're thinking of hybrid nowadays uh, with the modern M-Frame, they actually discontinued the hybrid in... 97, 98, don't quote me. So it's towards the end. It actually survived into the Pro M frame in 1997. So it's at least after that. Probably it got changed in the 1999 major sweep of all the products where they redid a lot of things. That hybrid is now almost a hybrid of sweep and strike, if I had to guess. Um, closest matching ones to the originals, but uh, basically those are the big three V67 and hybrid at first. Now comes 1991. That was 1989. 1991 now. Uh, strip lens was coming soon, uh, but we also began to see things like the sweep lens, uh, you know, the heater lens, a lot of the more modern ones that we see, now, uh, we see nowadays. And it was just really small. Um, if you remember back, and now we're going to kind of go back to this guy, when the razor blade first came out, or the blade first came out rather, in uh, 1985? No, 1986. 1986, the blade came out. We had a really big lens. It came out you know, pretty much down to here. Then the razor blade came out, brought it up a little bit more. That was 1988. 1989, we get the slit lens. And the slit lens brought it up so much that it really barely clears the bottom of this nose piece here, and it goes straight across. So this is really one of the smallest lenses you'll see at that era. So they sort of went the same idea with the M frame, where we have traditional things like, you know, here's the strip lens. The smallest one they had at the time was this V lens, so this is one of the original frames, the V. So as you see, very small, but it does come down and it clears you know, quite a bit, at least it comes out to a slight degree. After that we then had the sweep lens, which is a little bit bigger, but then nowadays this is actually one of the smallest frames because the only other two in the modern end frame are the heater, the strike, hybrid, and hybrid S. Uh, hybrid S might be around the same size, but it doesn't have you know, some of the contours and whatnot. So basically, uh, according to the story, and I don't know where I heard this from, I don't know whether I saw it in one of the forum posts or whether I heard this word of mouth, but a couple other people heard it too, so it's got to be out there somewhere. But what I heard from someone is that an athlete was given one of these. They were given an M-frame uh, V-lens. And for some reason, they just wanted something that just barely covered their field of vision. They didn't want all this extra lens. So... When they were handed it, they're, someone handed it to them, you know, on the field, because Oakley likes to work with their athletes and go actually out in the field, give them promo items, you know, have them do their promotional and testing work to a degree. 
what they did is the guy looked at it and then he started grinding it on the ground. And he ground it to the point where basically the bottom of the nose piece to the temple was completely ground off and then ended up with something similar to this. That's the story I've heard. That's the one I'm sticking with. If it's true, I'd like to really find out. I'd like to make it a little more concrete, but who knows? So, um, that being said, 1991 was really the only year that they did appear. And soon after, they were faded out. Most of the other ones uh, kind of came in, uh, slash, you know, came in a few years later, and that kind of took over. Um, but so you really don't find them too often. And for quite a few years, I only knew of one person that had them. And as of this year, like three more people have found him, and then someone even got multiples, and that's kind of where I got mine. So I would like to thank four people for helping me with this. Uh, Paul and Adrian, who helped me get the lens. It was kind of a three-way trade, and I'm still actually, I need to send some things out, so I'm getting to that. But uh, two people helped me get the lens. Uh, I would like to thank Lee for helping me with the frame. He had a spare crystal black frame. And one of my requirements for finding a proper frame for this was getting one that would be of that same vintage. So when the Mumbo came out, 89, the early M frame, there was only black, white, and neon yellow. Now, I could have used those, but I thought, you know, pure black, pure white, eh, it's a little boring. Yellow, I think, would just detract too much from this. Uh, the only other things that came out at the time were crystal clear, crystal black, crystal red, black, white, and um, a few things like that. The print frames didn't come out for a couple more years. I think 93 is when we started having black rain, carbon fiber, things like that that were a lot, a little more crazier. They had the hydro prints and they were a little more than just standard colors. So I kind of had to have a frame that was in that very specific time. So luckily uh, Lee had a spare black or a crystal black frame, so I was able to put that on. And the last thing I needed was I needed some white ear socks because the strip lens came with this white nose piece thankfully, because um, most of them either come with just like blue or black. Um, there were these specialty replacement kits, but these were sold separately. So th these are actually really hard to find. And when I, um, actually, again, from Lee, he, uh, he has an incredible collection, and I was able to buy a few pieces off him a few years back. Uh, he had a lot of pieces that were fully customized. So even though this is a custom, it's a really old custom, and that still makes it you know cool. Plus the fact that those colored... Um, Ear socks and nose pieces are really hard to find. That's also cool. So uh, Eddie, another longtime member, he was actually the very first member of the O Review. He uh, contacted me and said, hey, I have a spare. I'll send them to you. So a couple days later, they arrived in the mail, slid them on, didn't even have to use the Purell trick. And now I have this fully functioning M-frame strip. It's just, uh, it's one of those prize collection pieces. I mean, it's up there with... Uh, you know, my original Oakley goggle, and then, of course, some of the crazier pieces like the uh, Medusa over the top and things like that. So uh, just to give you a kind of feel for the, the height of this, I did bring out one more piece, which is the uh, new 0 0.7. Um, might just be called the 0 0.7 because there's really no old 0 0.7. But uh, back when the 0 0.4, everything was, you know, all the zeros were discontinued except for the 0 0.4. It got updated to a more contoured design. They came up with a 0 0.7, um, but, of course, the... 04 became a new 04 because it was new, and then this one you know, has the same design. So I call it the new 0 0.7. I don't think anyone's going to argue, but whatever. So if you kind of look at these side by side, you can get a feeling for you know, the height difference in lenses. So really, they almost have the same clearance. Uh, there's a little more bulk to the 0, but you know, they're, they're almost identical. So um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, you know, many thanks to those couple people that helped me out with this. Uh, it's, it's one of those things I really didn't think was going to happen. But like most of the things I didn't think would happen, it did happen eventually. So, you know, here's hoping for that 18 karat time bomb. So, I'll leave it at that. And uh, if you do have any questions or you want to check out the site, we are always looking for more people to join the forums because there's a lot of things going on. There's actually an M-frame thread, uh, thread that started recently, which has had... A lot of interest and a lot of cool nuggets of wisdom and uh, information. So I highly recommend checking out at least that thread because it's really awesome. I'll post a link below just so you can kind of check that out. Hopefully glean some information for in the, the golden era of Oakley's in-frame line. So as always, thank you and have a good day. Oh, review. Want even more Oakley?
then check out the O Review, the premier informational and community site dedicated to all things O. Check out the database of over 5,000 glasses and 10,000 overall items. While you're there, view frame lens options, generational variations, timelines, serial lists, terminology, articles, and our monthly collector's spotlights. If you still want more, join as a member and participate in our live chat room, post in the forums, and document your collection. You can also add to the photo gallery, manage your reviews, get front page exposure for your videos, and try to collect achievements. Hope to see you there.